Here at News 5, we are committed to helping you rebound from this pandemic. And while the virus has disrupted many lives, we want to share some uplifting stories of how people are finding creative ways to carry on. News 5's Colette Bordelon shows us a recent wedding where only six people were in the ceremony. Just the bride, groom, one of their parents each, the photographer, and a minister. Even though that's less than originally planned, the newlyweds say they wouldn't have had it any other way. In that moment, I kind of just forgot about everything else. One thing the pandemic can't stop. And I realized then and there that I was marrying my best friend and that's really what mattered in the end. Is love. On the day of our wedding, we ended up video calling a lot of our friends and family. Even though we felt their absence that day, we know that uh, they were there with us in spirit. Fogg and Linda Pywell have known each other since high school and both start graduate school this year. Didn't really have a choice to reschedule unless we wanted to do it four years from now. The two came from Kansas to tie the knot outside of Garden of the Gods last weekend at a ceremony with only a handful of people. It just makes it about you and not about everybody else who's there. We both cried actually at the ceremony. <laughs> it was so yeah. sweet. They're about, it was beautiful. Making up a third of that wedding party, Shannon and Joe Terrell, their photographer and minister. I think it's an honor uh, to still be a part so intimately involved in a wedding day. The two own Century Tree Co. and they were thrilled to hear the Piewells say their marriage was more important than an event. Potentially this pandemic may just trend the entire industry towards smaller weddings in general. They say people could have smaller ceremonies now and bigger receptions in the future. Your life doesn't have to stop. You can, you, know, you still need to take precautions. You still need to be careful. Uh, that doesn't mean that like, you know, like love and friendship has to also, you know, be quarantined. Like the Piewells learned. It turned out to be amazing and so intimate and really true to who we are as a couple. Love is stronger than the virus. Century Tree Co. says they've had some clients postpone their weddings and others cancel. Now, they just moved to Colorado Springs a year ago, so it's a bit tricky to say right now, but they think they could lose around two-thirds of their business when compared to last year. Always watching out for you, Colorado Springs. Colette Bortle on News 5.